Welcome to Informatica Cloud Support Videos. Today we will be looking at how to create a vertical expression macro using Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Before we get on to the details, let's try to understand what an expression macro is. An expression macro is used or is a feature in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer to create a repetitive complex expressions, not just for a single field, but it can be applied to a multiple input fields and can cater or create multiple output fields as well. There are three kinds of expression macro, vertical, horizontal and hybrid. In this video we will be looking at vertical expression macros. A vertical expression macro in general expands its output macro expression vertically to quite a few fields. A simple step or process to create a vertical expression macro is to create an input macro field and then to create an output macro field. Configure an expression for an output macro field and then create a mapping configuration task to expand the output macro field. Let's go ahead and try to do a hands-on demo. Log on to your Informatica Cloud UI using your user ID. And go to design mapping to create a new mapping. In this case I'm trying to give a mapping name as M vertical macro demo Ideally, for a given mapping, we'll be trying to have a source, an expression, and a target. Let's try to configure the source. I'm going to select a flat file source. I have a flat file called as macro.csv If you look at the fields available you'll see it has a product field model and the price ts So what we are trying to achieve here is we are going to create an expression and a input macro field to see to that we choose only the price field for every product tier and we are going to calculate a sales price for the same so I had created an input macro field called as sales price and I'm trying to choose the input fields based on a text pattern you also have an option to choose all input fields or you can selectively choose the input fields based on their field name or you can also have a constant. Now that we had created an input macro field this particular expression or pattern is going to choose all the three price tier fields from the input file. Now I'm trying to create an output macro field which is going to hold an expression which will act on top of this input field which we just created now. But the output field is going to be an integer field. We are going to calculate the sales price for each and every model of a given product and see to it that we add the sales price with the sales tax and get an output field out of it. So start with I'm trying to first convert the input string price field to integer and let's assume we have 5% tax on a given 
price tier and I'm going to add that value to the price which we get from the source. So I have my output macro field with the expression created. Now I link my expression transformation to target and create a target flat file connection parameter and choose a connection type as flat file. I'd also like to create a parameter for the target object so that I can choose a target object while I configure a mapping configuration task. File object I do a save and continue. I'm missing something here. I guess it is to do with the field mapping. Let me parameterize the field mapping as well. Yeah, now the mapping is valid. Let's create a mapping configuration task out of it. Let's choose a runtime environment where this mapping configuration task needs to run. Since we had parameterized the target, we need to choose the target connection and also the object. Let me choose a connection and let me choose an object here. So I already have a file called as macro target.csv. Now, if you look at it in the input field, we just had price tier 1, 2 and 3 but when we created an output macro field three more fields got included called as price tier 1 out, price tier 2 out and so with price tier 3 underscore out. These are all calculated fields based on expression which is going to add 5% tax on the given price tier and we are trying to map this to the target and run the mapping configuration task. We see there are two successful process rows over here. Let's go to the target where the file is available. I could see that the target values are processed. Here we had successfully created a vertical expression macro and ran the task successfully. We would like to hear from you. Please keep your feedback posted to support videos at informatica.com email or you can tweet your feedback to twitter.com infasupport.